Let me get that one out. Sales were soaring during the Obama years. The owners of gun crafters in Salem say they made $30,000 the Saturday after he took office. He was our best salesman ever. Sales slowed with Trump, but renewed debate on gun control has sales up again. Ronald Redding says they are selling more products in general, including AR-15s. We turned 13 yesterday. And uh, and we just turned, what, two, uh, two ARs this morning. Redding says customers worried about changes to gun laws are driving profits. Me personally, I was going to go out and buy some high capacity magazines before they outlaw those. Customers we talked to said they don't believe tighter gun control or raising the age limit to buy a semi-automatic weapon will prevent tragedy. A lot of it to me is get rid of the video games and that's the biggest one and then parents need to teach their kids right from wrong. But many customers say they believe every store has the right to make their own policies like Dick's. If their sales fall off that is also potentially a consequence. If their sales don't fall off, that's fine too. But marketplaces are driven by supply and demand. Customers certainly have a lot to choose from. There are 1,400 licensed gun dealers in Oregon. Our representation that we've elected is what's going to make this decision. We can sit and bark all we wish. Redding says gun crafters won't be making any changes to policy without changes in the law. The owner here, Redding, told me that he actually would not have a problem with the age restriction being raised to 21 to purchase a semi-automatic weapon, but he says he would not make a restriction on his own sales before the law came into effect because it wouldn't be fair to his business.